welcome back to the second part of our ice cream. Is it going to be a trilogy? We don't know yet. <laughs> Surely we can wrap this up in this part. Yeah, this uh, we can probably wrap it up in this part. We're just talking about ice cream and uh, we thought we'd split it into two episodes. So if you didn't listen to the first part, go back and listen. Go back and listen, yes. Um, I'm Dominic. <laughs> and I'm Erica and this is Tea and a Buddy. Tea and a Buddy or Tea and Ice Cream. No. Tea and an Ice Cream. <laughs> or what? What else is it? No, do not say knobbly dobbly. Uh, knobbly bobbly. <laughs> How could you forget that? We only just recorded the last one. <laughs> knobbly dobbly? What is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what that knobbly dobbly is. Oh, God. Anyway, in the last episode, I was talking about the international brand, the international logo for oh, ice cream. Oh, my God. It's Not actually the heart brand logo that's Unilever. Yes, it's the heart. The heart is the national symbol of ice cream. Yes, and you see it all over the world. Whoever you know, whoever I've never Unilever seen it. is a. Qu- you mean you've never seen it? I've never seen it here. I have. No. I think I've seen it here a couple no. of times. Yeah, I mean it's not as huge over here, but I've definitely seen it in Spain, and France, and obviously Britain. I mean, Walls own it. Walls. A part of it but anyway it's it's like a global conglomerate so he wasn't making it up folks <laughs> there is an international logo for ice cream <laughs> and it's the heart brand the national symbol of ice cream is a international heart. symbol for ice cream yes. so you know when people put their hands together like that with the thumbs touching and the and the fingers folded over like that they're really they're really telling everybody that they want ice cream yes. like that when they do the little heart with their yes. hands and I think everyone really, will agree with me on that they're one. They're really calling ice cream to each other. Yes, ice cream. I need ice cream. <laughs> it's like the gang sign of ice cream. Yes. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> you know you know it is. Oh, my God. Okay, so if you did not listen to the previous podcast, as he mentioned, we were talking about ice cream. We still are talking about ice cream because we are obsessed with the ice cream. International it's summertime. Ice cream. It's summertime. Is it actually summertime? Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's summertime, and um, it's hot. And the living is easy. And the living is easy when you have ice cream when it's hot outside. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you have the, the international sign for ice cream. In the previous episode, though, we discussed ice cream vans or ice cream trucks or the ice cream man, depending on where you are in the world. And this is all about the store. And we also talked about the grocery store, but we kind of... We ran out of time. We ran so, out of time. So we're continuing on. So just to catch you up. Yeah. When last we left you, <laughs> I think we were talking about Magnums. No, Magnums. and not Magnum PI. Magnum. Chocolate ice cream. Bars. Yeah. Uh, chocolate hazelnut and praline ice cream. That was one. I, yeah, because I thought you didn't like them when we got them. I thought you were just kind of like, oh, they're not that They were that. just too much. They it were would, too much. How can you have too you much ice put, cream? And you can't put it back in the freezer. You can't, like, save it for Nobody later. Nobody wants to put ice cream back in the freezer. Nobody want. wants to, but sometimes it would be nice if you could. <laughs> Get a big bar of ice cream. Somebody a invent chocolate. a container that you can put, like, your leftover ice cream bar into that'll keep it frozen. You can just stick it in the freezer and come back to it when, you, uh, when you're ready. I don't know. Like a plastic container you can just <laughs> plop it right into. Somebody needs to invent. A knobbly ball. <laughs> Actually, I think we had wrapped up Magnum. I think you were talking about the Cornish vanilla ice cream. Cornish vanilla, yeah, that's it's like a yellow kind of vanilla. You know, mm-hmm. it's made with Cornish milk or Cornish cows. It's made from Cornish people. Yes, yeah, Cornish people. <laughs> and that's when you, yeah, that's when you got some of that. You got Walls Cornish vanilla ice cream. Yes, it's and I great. and you were like, oh, this, this is the ultimate in vanilla. I was like, I'm not really a vanilla person, but guess what, guys. When you go to Britain and you're shopping for ice cream, you don't have as many flavor options as you do here. I mean, obviously there's chocolate and strawberry and stuff. You know? Yeah, and there were some good flavors. We're gonna have to flip through this website quickly to find to find um, some of the Cadbury Flake ninety nine. Some of the specific um, ice cream like tub flavors, and they do have store brands and all of that. But anyway, he was like Cornish vanilla, Cornish vanilla, and I'm just like, oh Cornish my god, vanilla. and I'm just like, fine, get your Cornish vanilla. Let's try this Cornish vanilla that you keep freaking going on about. Because I love it. 
And um, I do, I do love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, um, Briars. Yeah, I don't remember seeing Briars. Briars. Um. Anyway, so we got the Cornish vanilla. I think we've tried that Kelly's too. I think we that Kelly's, that, that yeah. looks familiar. That container. Um, and I have to say, for vanilla ice cream, yes, it so was absolutely cream delicious. I don't remember that. I remember the clotted cream, but we'll see. We're going to have to wrap up grocery stores so we can quickly go to like ice cream parlors and talk yes. about that. Um, but yeah, the Cornish vanilla was absolutely delicious. And if you are in Britain and if you see Cornish vanilla, do get it. Even if you're not like a vanilla, oh, plain vanilla, boring. No, Cornish vanilla is really good. So do get that. It's just that like melts in your mouth. Oh, absolutely okay. fabulous. Go back up to the cart door. Um, I'm looking for, oh wait, these are Tesco. So they've got banana split. They've got cherry vanilla. These are flavors we have. White chocolate raspberry. We've got oh, that. Yeah. Caramel. And yes, I'm saying caramel and not caramel. Mint chocolate chip. Um, triple chocolate. Yeah, these are all like flavors that we have. Nothing special, really. Carved or salted caramel. Yeah, I can't rum and raisin. That does not sound nice. Oh, that's a popular. Actually, that's a popular ice cream flavor in a parlor. Rum and raisin. My dad used to get that a lot. Stop it! I don't want raisins in my ice cream. Rum and raisin, and you don't want rum either, do you? It's actually probably not. Well, I don't know. Rum sounds I, okay I, I, with ice cream. I had it. But raisin, no. I remember my dad used to get rum and raisin, and it was it was pretty good. I I you know I I had a taste of it and I thought it was okay. Yeah, you just didn't like rum, rum or raisin. No. You know, he told this story in the previous podcast of me like being hangry for ice cream, <laughs> and. And so we went shopping for ice cream, and their ice cream section was just so disappointing. Like, a, I don't know if I, I'm looking on their website, and it looks to me like they have as many flavors and brands as we do in America. But in the store, you guys, they do not have this many. I This has just got to be because it's on the website. Maybe. I mean, maybe it's because we were in Hlinachli, which is like, it's not a super small town, but it's not a, a huge either. Maybe they just don't have as many options in there. I don't know. But, There's not too many. Uh, but I don't remember. I, I can't remember which of these cart door ones that we got. None of them are popping out at me. Nah. I wouldn't want a vanilla. Cheesecake and mascarpone. Mm, no. I don't Cheesecake know. Cheesecake and mascarpone. Anyway, cart, cart door is um, a little bit more expensive of a brand. £3.50 for how many? Oh, my God. I, you guys. 100 milliliters. You guys in the metric system are... <laughs> Metric system, right? This is a thousand milliliters. I don't know. What that is. No, that's a thousand. That's yeah. a thousand in both places. No, it's one hundred. Thirty-five pence per hundred. That's what oh, that means. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what? What are some other um, like flavors of ice cream that you can remember eating it as a kid? Did you really eat ice cream that much as a kid growing up? Like from the grocery store? It'd be an atta is what I all I can remember really. <laughs> Why? And that's just because they had commercials and they made it look so fancy? No, it was just because it was what they bought. You know, it was what my parents bought, so that's what I ate. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't like, oh, ice cream, ice cream every like day. You were like an ice cream head. I wasn't an ice cream head. I wasn't like, you know. What was your dessert of choice? Mivy. Um, my dessert of choice. You just wanted yeah. candy? I, I guess so, yeah. I mean, I, I guess. can remember my grandma used to always say... Anytime we were going to cut, anytime. Jelly and ice cream. There you go. Oh, God. Okay, th let me finish and then we'll, we'll just talk about that. <laughs> um, my grandma used to always say, anytime that you were going to come over, your grandfather, Papu, that's what I called him, your Papu would always say, oh, she's coming over. I have to go get ice cream. I have to make sure we have ice cream in the freezer. It was like, it was in my rider that I had to have ice cream. It was in your rider, yes. <laughs> yes. It was in my rider. I had to have ice cream in the in the freezer at all times. Um, okay, going to what you just said, jelly and ice cream. That was a that's a party. That's a birthday party staple. And I tried it, and it's not terrible. But it, when did you try it? Yeah, we made it. We got some Jello and oh, and when he says jelly, by the way, when he says jelly, do not forget he's British. Jelly, 
to British people is Jello to Americans. So we're talking about ice cream with Jello. Just give that a second to sink in. Yeah, we did. We went to the because you were like, "Oh yeah, jelly and ice cream." So we went. We got some. Uh, I wasn't like, "Oh yeah, jelly and ice cream." (laughs) You were were like, "Yeah, jelly and ice cream." Gonna have yeah, because I was always wanting ice cream. So you were like, "Oh, I gotta have jelly." And we went and got gotta have jelly. Yeah, we went and got some raspberry. Yeah, because why else did we have the gel the Jello for the trifle? I thought we made Mm, trifle. No, no, we bought trifles every time. We didn't make trifle until we got here. Um. Oh. So we did, I tried this. Jello, you make the jello, you put the ice cream on top of it. Quit talking about that. He's just pulled up the knobbly bobblies on the computer and I cannot take it. Someone come take him off my hands. <laughs> He's going on about knobbly bobblies. <sighs> Can I just finish? Can I just finish yes, talking about the jelly it. and the ice cream? Because this is, this is going to be very controversial. It's very important feeling. to you, isn't it, Ted Cruz? <laughs> I feel like this is going to be controversial for our listeners. Jello and ice cream, and you would do any flavor, didn't you? You said you would do lime jello. You Sometimes, would do... well, usually it would be like strawberry or raspberry. Oh, okay. With vanilla, you know. Yeah. But sometimes people would get fancy. I remember once they had chocolate ice cream. Sometimes they get fancy. <laughs> they did. They get ch- chocolate ice cream and they'd have like lime jello with it. Oh, God, that sounds horrendous. Oh, I can't remember whose birthday party that was, but it, yeah, it was a bit weird. And they put like chocolate sauce and scr- sprinkles on top. Ugh. Thousands. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands with your jelly and your ice cream. No, um, I did have it. It's weird. But it was still ice cream, so I didn't mind it that much. It's weird, though. It is weird. Let us know by tweeting us or Facebooking us whether you have ever eaten Jello with ice cream. My grandma taught me a weird thing that she said her dad used to eat, and I ate it, and it was actually really good. But this, again, sounds really weird. Vanilla ice cream with cantaloupe. Well, I mean, that's with fruit. You know, you can have ice cream and mango. Yeah, but not really But not really melon. You don't really eat ice cream with melons. Who? Everyone. Do you... It, also, let us know. <laughs> if you eat ice cream with melons. Yes, if you've ever had ice cream with melons. I mean, yeah. maybe with watermelon it would be a bit weird. Yeah, it would be weird with watermelon. It would be weird with cantaloupe, but it's not. It's actually delicious. <laughs> okay. Getting back to the topic at hand. <laughs> um, Fruity Helter Skelter's rocket lollies. They were big when I was a kid. Rocket lollies. Those look like what we call bomb pops. Yeah, the, the, like, like, the like rocket lollies. Um, like fruit, Fruity Helter Skelter's. You know, and these are just kind of like generic brands. Chalk Ices, which are basically like Klondike bars. Chalk Ices were a... That's, that's one. Chalk Ices. Those were like, I, we always had them on hand as a kid. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just like, can I have a chalk ice? Yeah. And it's basically the ice cream with the chocolate around, around the it. Outside. Yeah, like okay. a Klondike bar. Yeah. I think it's a Klondike. And Klondike thing. happened to be part of your heart company, didn't they? <laughs> uh, were... y- yes, there you go. <laughs> International fl- uh, ice cream logo. Uh, <sighs> Conato. Conato was another one. Hey, Cornetto, give it to me. I remember you going on about that. I don't know if we ever got those when I was in Britain, though. Um, and milk lollies as well, mini milks and stuff. Ben and Jerry's is hugely popular in Britain. Oh, yeah. No, I do do swear by their fish food. It's so expensive, though. It's, it, it is expensive, yeah, but it's like... I mean, £4.50 for a pint of ice cream? That's, yeah, like, ridiculous. That's, that is... There, there it is, fish food. Um, but yeah, Magnums were really good. I don't know. I don't understand why that's so expensive. But yeah, we're we're scrolling through this Tesco website, and I've noticed that. Um, and I'm a self-professed ice cream um, connoisseur. <laughs> Solero, <laughs> shall I say? So, Sorry, I am ashamed. Yeah. I'm ashamed to admit it, but. Dominic says he's seen it in America, but I'm noticing that they have um, Oreo ice cream sandwiches on the website at Tesco. Oreo, yeah. That sounds fabulous. I love Oreos, and I have not seen those over here, but Dominic says he has, so I'm going to believe him. 
I've seen Oreo churros as well. Oreo. Yeah, yeah, yeah but now we're talking in the ice cream section. Oreo, mm-hmm. Oreo ice cream sandwiches. I don't know. I'm sure I have. Maybe last summer was like the first time. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I think I'm possibly remembering. <gasps> oh, they look so good. Okay. Maybe we should talk about American ice cream now. American ice cream. American yeah. grocery store ice cream, yeah. um, which we already talked about brands. So let's talk about flavors now. Yes. Because I think that you will admit that we have a lot more flavors, a lot more choice in America than you have in Britain, as far as flavors go, anyway. Rocky Road is one of them, yeah. Rocky Road, so good. Um, also, like cookies and cream. I think we're getting that. I think they're getting that in Britain now. Cookies and cream seems like such such a basic flavor, but then again, you guys haven't always had Oreos, so maybe well, it, the it makes sense. Peanut butter stuff. The peanut butter <laughs> ice cream is absolutely oh, chocolate peanut butter cup. I'm not a huge fan peanut of peanut butter in I, the ice cream. I don't like peanut butter in the ice cream. Yeah, it's too cloying. It's too like sickly. Um, I do like things with nuts, though, like butter pecan and praline ice cream. Yeah, yeah pecan praline. Pecan, pecan, butter pecan and pecan praline. Yeah, you'd never find that in Britain because pecan trees. That first of all, you don't call them pecans; you call them pecans. Pecans, buttered <laughs> pecans. Is that a pecan? Oh, <laughs> lovely. Um, lovely. Chocolate marshmallow, though. That's gonna be like Rocky Road without the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, you're um, not a huge fan of nuts in your ice cream either, though, are you? Um, I it's I've got to be in the mood for it. I think. Yeah. You know, they've got to be like small enough, I guess. Because H E B, our our local grocery store, has this flavor that they do, like um, what is it? Toasted almond coconut. Coconut. Yeah. Yeah, it's like toasted almond chocolate coconut or something like that, and it's got bits of coconut in, but also whole almonds. Oh, it's so yeah, it's actually yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, and I and I like Rocky Road too. I I mean I liked I like main things in in ice cream for me. I like chocolate ice cream, chocolate with like caramel, and maybe chocolate pieces in it too. Yeah, you know, like the fish food mm-hmm. and some marshmallow too, it's marshmallow cream. Yeah, marshmallow goes well in chocolate ice cream. Yeah, especially. So that's my and and another favorite of mine is the white chocolate raspberry truffle ice cream yeah because that's got white chocolate in it and the raspberry swirl and also it's got these like little chocolate bits these dark chocolate bits with raspberry sauce in them mm. oh, so good <laughs> it's bloody delicious you're not big on cookie dough ice cream though are you nah yeah me either i used to like it as a kid don't, but don't really care for it that much now I I don't yeah. see the appeal of it I've either. Gr- I've grown out of it too. I'm not. Um, I don't know what this black raspberry on this list is, but it sounds fantastic, black and I do cherry. want to try some black, black cherry. cherry ice cream. I've had when I, when I was a kid, but I don't really see it that often anymore. Um, but yeah, peanut butter ripple cookies and cream was always like my favorite growing up, and then Rocky Road kind of came up, surpassed it. Um, I do like you've gotten me on the mint chocolate chip, and I do like mint chocolate chip. Yeah, I mean, I've I've always kind of loved. You don't that. really like mint that much either, which is odd that you like mint chocolate chip. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just like I just like mint mint chocolate. Yeah, they've got some really disgusting things out though. I've noticed. Like, I think Nerds has an ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want ice cream that tastes like candy. Or, or bits yeah. of candy in it, you know? It just does not sound good. I don't I don't understand, and I don't want it, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, aside from ice cream, we do, we do a lot of store brand, actually. We have a really good... At, at our grocery store, H-E-B, which they only have grocery stores in Texas, if you've heard our other podcasts, we mention them all H-E-B, the time because yeah. they're a really good grocery store. They're Central Texas-based. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they've got their really, they've got their own really, really good store brand. And it's like, I would equate it to Bluebell. Like it's as good as Bluebell ice cream easily. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and actually, it's almost Most as expensive. Most definitely. It's almost as expensive as Blue Bell, really. But oh, you know what? Another good flavor is <laughs> like going what for one. Is, what you is see, the... ice cream just winds me up. And I just... Yes, you just get all wound up about the ice cream. You're just like, the ice cream. <laughs> you know, you should make like a Roald Dahl thing, you know, like um, the ice cream factory. <laughs> Rivers of ice cream and walls <laughs> of ice cream and yeah. and of course the international logo and nibbly oh and, my God. and nobbly bobblies too. You almost said nibbly bibblies. Nibbly bibblies and nobbly bobblies. <laughs> um, Walmart just to like throw them a little shout out. Yeah, because they don't they don't nobody knows who they are. Yeah, um, but Walmart has a banana pudding ice cream that is absolutely to die for. Somebody oh, there was on some list that people were like banana ice cream is disgusting. And oh, I was just like, What, what? are they talking about? Banana That's ice so cream good. is the best ice cream out there. Yes. Banana. Pudding, they yeah. don't really do they do like banana um pecan or something like that over here. It's got it's got nuts in it. Mm. But I like the banana pudding one. Oh, so good. Anyway, we'll go from ice cream now in America to, you mentioned gelato. We have gelato, the, yeah. Yeah, they, I didn't see that on the list in Tesco. No. You guys don't have gelato. Not for really. Some well, it's, gelato is the same thing as ice cream, really. I think that Italian people would beg to differ. No, they wouldn't. They just say it's uh, what we call ice cream. But, what, it's what ma- but it's made a bit differently to to. American and British version of ice cream. So they put a few peaks in it. So what? <laughs> oh yeah. my god. No, it is. The process is a little bit different. It, t- it tastes like ice cream, but the process is a bit different. What? Is it like an... What? I'm not sure. I've looked it up before. Look it up. Gelato. Look it up. Yeah. Um, the process of gelato is a bit... It is a bit different. And um, they've got different flavors in gelato uh, than they do regular ice cream like they're very into pistachio and oh here he's looked it up now so we'll find exactly what the difference between gelato and ice cream is yeah ice cream is fluffy gelato is dense there we go end of discussion (laughs) that's pretty much what it is i mean it's like like the base and i think i think gelato has a higher cream content or milk content it's something about how much it's stirred too it's turned at a fairly high yeah. speed yeah, yeah, yeah. and gelato gelato is turned at a much slower speed and it's served at a slightly warmer temperature than ice cream yeah so it's so it's more silky more soft yeah yeah there's a difference there is i mean it it is the word for ice cream, but it is also different, like gelato in Italian or helado, helado yeah. in Spanish. It all means ice cream, but it's 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 similar to ice cream. <laughs> I mean, I I didn't really say, you know, I'm not an ice cream connoisseur. Erica is. I am, and it's yeah, different. It's, I'm telling you. Yeah, she's the one who's like, oh, gelato. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> gelato. Yes, yes. Now here's a question, though. While we're talking about differences, what is the difference between sorbet and sherbet? I have no clue. You're asking me. I don't know. I don't know either. Let us know. Rather than us look it up. Sherbet is more like artificial flavored. I don't know if that's true. (laughs) If you know, if you know, tweet us or Facebook us and let us know what the difference between sorbet and sherbet is because they're both fruity as far as I can tell and I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about American popsicles and ice cream bars really quickly. Oh, yes. Because we do a lot of, like, just popsicles, um, whereas you guys don't so much in Britain, do you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, ice I lollies. Yeah, we have a lot of ice lollies. Yeah. Like lemonade ice lollies and orange ice lollies. And, yeah. I mean, you know, that's what I... I mean, you know, the... the well, the Mivy is kind of like an ice lolly. Well, it was, anyway. That was made by Lion's Maid, which was a, a brand around... That's now part of Nestle, I think. Mm. Um, but they used to make... Um, the universal back when it before the heart was the universal thing of ice cream was three children dancing. What? So there you go. Oh my God! Where are you getting this yeah. stuff from? Oh, I'm three not. children dancing. It was three children. It was three cartoon children dancing. 
But yeah, so anyway, we do a lot of popsicles. <laughs> popsicles. Icicles. Okay. That was from that was from the nineteen sixties. That was a hit. And ice cream bars. Um, I don't know. If you guys follow us on Instagram, maybe you saw these dove uh, ice cream bars that we found at H E B the other day. And I didn't get them because the price was a little bit much, I felt like. But if you guys tell me that you've tried them and that they're so delicious, then I may have to get them and try them. But they were like, um, what, raspberry? They were dove chocolate with yes. raspberry inside or something. Oh, raspberry sorbet covered raspberry in dark sorbet chocolate, covered I think. In dark chocolate. Yes, that's what it was. So there we go. Sorbet again <laughs> for you. Um, and then we do like creamsicles. Oh, yes. Creamsicles are the best. Creamsicles, for anybody who doesn't know, are vanilla ice cream covered with like an orange popsicle. And if you guys orange, have not orange, of... yeah, so it's like a mivy then. Well, they do. Well, do like that. a yeah, like a split. Right. They do do strawberry ones and I think raspberry also, and they're so good. But the traditional one is orange creamsicle, and that flavor of orange and the vanilla is so good oh, together. Yeah, those, those raspberry, sorbet. raspberry sorbet with dark chocolate. If you guys have had those, let me know because they look so good. Um, but yeah, we do like the fruit bars with coconut, pineapple, and they'll all have big chunks of fruit in them. Very fresh and refreshing in this Texas heat. Um, I, I never eat any of the like low calorie stuff so i'm not even going to mention any of that because i don't see the point um what no i was just gonna <laughs> say yeah there's no point in low calorie stuff no, you know, like if, like you're gonna... if you're gonna go get an ice cream just get a bloody get ice cream good. for goodness good. sake enjoy your life enjoy your life <laughs> get your nibbly bobblies <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess the ice cream and popsicle section of our grocery store is similar to what we have to what you have in Britain. We've got fudge pops. They used to do these banana pops yeah. that were like the fudge only with like creamy banana. Oh, my God. Those things were good. You never see those anymore. I don't know why. Um, but then we'll have like like mango. Um, mango. Mango. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so let's go ahead and move quickly on to ice cream shops. Ice cream I th- shops. I think we can kind of quickly just we can quickly. Gen- generally. You just want to talk about that place in Philadelphia. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. I know what you like. So, so in America, we have like Cold Stone Creamery. We have Baskin Robbins. Yeah. We have here in Austin, we have Amy's Ice Cream. There's a lot, a lot of, of frozen like frozen yogurt shops as well, which yeah. is pretty much the same thing as ice cream, except it's yogurt frozen. Yeah, it's a little bit healthier for you, but it doesn't taste. But it does not taste healthy. So it's good. It's a good option. It's better than going fat free or whatever kind of crap, low calorie crap low calorie crap who needs it get it out of here get it out of my life (laughs) um but yeah we have those kind of places i don't really eat it a lot we don't really do go to a lot of ice cream places because that thing my mom built into my head as a kid like you can go get a whole half a gallon of ice cream for the same price as like one little cup of ice cream well like amy's ice cream yeah Yeah. it's just exorbitant prices it is yeah I will say, though, if you're ever in Austin and you go to Amy's Ice Cream, get the Mexican vanilla with bits of Oreo chopped into it. It's so good. Little bits of Oreo chopped into it. Yes. That's a pro tip. Pro tip for Austin uh, visiting. But, yeah, don't quickly tell us about some of the ice cream shops in Britain, Dominic. Well, I'm when I was a kid, there was one in Torquay. It's gone now. It was called Rokum Farm. And Rokum Farm was this dairy farm, and they just sell ice cream. They had bananas and cream. Oh, my God, that was the best thing. They had rum and raisin. They had, like, cherries and strawberries and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. But the bananas and cream was my go-to. And it's it disappeared. I guess they just stopped making them. You know, it was run by a family. But oh, it was yeah. it was oh, it was just so good. I can, the bits of banana in the, in the ice cream. Yeah. It was like, there you go. And it's like, that's another place I used to go to when I was a kid. That was a big treat, you know? Yeah. 
but we went to this place in Clanathley when we were last there, what I think. What was it called? Give him a shout out. I don't know what it was called. I don't know what it's called. It was um, in North Dock. Did you know it was there or did we just happen upon it? Oh, I think it? we I just happened remember. upon it. I, I don't think it's an ice cr- I don't know if it's an ice cream place. Yeah. I mean, it, it is an ice cream place, but it's like, it's attached to like the restaurant and stuff. Was it? I just remember them having like a bunch of ice cream. Yeah, they have like, like a, yeah, section. it wasn't soft serve ice cream. It was like soft scoop, I guess, you know, it was just, um, mm-hmm. what do you call it? But yeah, we, we went there and I can't remember if it was like raining or if it was... Yeah, it was a nice day. It was a nice day, yeah. And we got waffle cones and we got clotted cream and blackberry, didn't we? <gasps> yes. No, clotted, cl- clotted cream and black currant, I think it black- was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clotted cream and black currant ice cream. And it was fantastic. Oh my god. It was like the best. I don't know. Honestly, you were so into that ice cream, yes. weren't you? It was just, it was so, you know, you were just like, oh, this is the ice cream. It was the, so good. The ice cream of life. It was the ice cream of life. It really so, was. Uh, it was like the ice cream of life. And we went back there okay. the next time and it was closed. Very closed. Yeah, it was the wrong season, I guess, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it was the ice cream. It life. was, yeah. But it was so good. You can see black ice- ber- black currant and clotted cream. And I don't remember. Delicious. And I don't remember the prices being like super exorbitant. No, I think it was like two quid or something. Yeah, for it, wasn't, it, you know? it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. Um, unfortunately, I think we're out of time again. <laughs> unfortunately, we're out of time. No, uh, no, we could talk about ice cream so much. Talk about ice cream so much. <laughs> But yeah, we just love it. I and hope, I we hope didn't... you love it too. You better love it. Yeah, I hope we don't bore you guys when we do these food episodes because I know we're not like visually looking at anything, but I think I think you've all had some of the stuff that we're talking about. So hopefully you can you know what we're talking about and you can you can picture it in your mind and you know it's interesting. If it's not, let us know because we'll maybe stop doing them. I don't know. We like talking about food. I we think. like talking about food. If you don't like it, just tell us. Just be honest with us. If you say no more food, just talk about, I don't know, Yeah. something else. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely. British things or American things right. or whatever, you know. Right. I mean, I was being a little bit thing there because obviously we want to talk about what you want to hear about. What do you want to hear about? Yeah. Tell us. Let us know on Facebook. What do you want to hear us talk about? Leave us some suggestions. Sometimes we get suggestions from people and we're like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we don't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we forget. No, no, no. We do it. We do it because it's just we like. We don't write them down, you see. We're very unprofessional at all this. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, don't mention it. Um, no, we, we do. We do do them because we appreciate we appreciate not having to come up with topics for ourselves sometimes. We're just like, oh, what can we talk about today, you know? Um, so if we have some little topic handy, then that comes that comes in handy. Useful. <laughs> um, very handy. Very useful. But yes, I think we've run it into the ground. Run now. it into the ground now. So do everything. Like do us. Do all the Buy things. Buy us a coffee. Buy us an ice cream. Do all yeah. the things. Yeah, yeah. And um, we shall see you next time. I don't know why I always say see you. We won't see you, will we? But we'll... You'll hear us You'll hear us. You'll hear us next time. (laughs) Yes. And don't forget the knobbly bobblies. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.